Hello again, friends, and welcome back to the Hardcore Tile Man series. If you missed the last few episodes, a playlist will be linked at the top right corner of your screen now, so you can go ahead and get caught up. Last episode, we finished up a bunch of preparations to complete some quests, and now we are well on our way to getting access to Winter Tot. Folks, make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me if you show your support in that way. Like the video, share it with your friends, and comment, and let me know what you're looking forward to most in this series. Now let's get into today's episode. And there it is, after about three hours or so of woodcutting and fire making level 50 fire making you can now access winter tot it's time to take care of a few housekeeping things right before we get to winter tot i'm going to use my necklace of passage one more time to get over to the wizard's tower and walk up to this holiday item trader here in draenor i've got a particular path i want to take mainly because there's a clue scroll step that we're going to use to get there you can see me walking past it right here in this clip Great, now that that's taken care of, we can just take a straight path right up past these willow trees, and I'm going to snake in between the bank here. Now, you might be asking yourself, Crystallize, why are you unlocking Draenor right now? Well, Draenor is actually incredibly useful. There's a few different stalls I can steal from. There's Diego out here. There's the wine shop, uh, but mainly Diego right now for this episode. Diego has some items that I need to pick up. And I feel like as a content creator, they're kind of important. Mainly this rainbow scarf. This is a warm item for Winter Tot that is going to keep us from taking crazy amounts of damage. Let me actually get my cash stack real quick so I can purchase these items. But yes, the rainbow scarf is one of the items. The chronicle and some pages for said chronicle so we can finally teleport to the champions guild down there by the canoe spot. As well as the oculus orb. All right, that should do us for now. Oh, man, the fashion scape, boys. This scarf is actually sick. Let's put these pages into the Chronicle. Yeah, I didn't realize this until just now, but apparently chopping willow logs in Draenor Manor or Draenor Village is a medium task. So yeah, get some tiles from that, I guess. Yeah, we get we get 15 tiles from that. Hell yeah. Let's see, 543. I was just sitting here chopping because I needed to home teleport to get back to my tiles, but uh, cool, there we go. Totally scuffed clip, but there's a fucking crap star right in front of Alcarid Bank and it's only level two so we're mining that shit and I'm the only one here I was the first one to find it had to tell a boys about it so here's edge tile right here coming in to get some of the stardust you'd love to see it oh what an absolute gentleman all right I ended up getting 185 stardust and also ended up talking to a fan it was pretty cool he just kind of showed up and was mining the stardust as well we talked about the videos so yeah now I'm going to head over to Port Serim and try and map a way over to this boat. That way we can use the game's necklace to actually get to Winter Tot. All right, we just did the teleport over to Port Serim. Now the goal is to get right up to here. Probably gonna be best if we just cut out a path this way. So that's not what we wanna do. Go here, set target. Yeah, that looks about right. What I might end up doing is going this way for Entrana, since we'll have to go to Entrana for a quest anyway. Let's do that. Let's do a diagonal here. Even if it does end up costing us a few more, I'd like to make my way over this way. Here we go. That's what we want. Okay, talk to Veos. Here we are, in front of Corind. There we go. All right, so now that we're here, we can rub the game's necklace and we can teleport to the Winter Tot camp. That's what we're gonna do. The teleport goes through and bam, here we are. We need to get over to the bank chest, get this back in here. I think it's gonna cut it a little close on this first game, but I think we'll be okay. I actually have a little bit of experience in the bank. Yeah, I have a little bit of experience in the bank, so not much. Let me see if I can't get us an extra tile or so. Had some willows in the bank. 
think we decided to fletch them up. There's 55 fletching. We can now make maple longbows and broad bolts, which is actually a really good level to have on an Iron Man account, particularly those broad bolts. Once we get into Slayer and everything like that, broad bolts are going to be our bread and butter. Pretty much a couple of steps above say like your mithril bolt or your bone bolts for the bone crossbow. Those are going to be really good ammunition for us and on the cheaper side. I think that's good enough. I just fletched up the uh, willows that I had in the bank. That got me like another five or so tiles. So that's more than enough to get to where I need to be. So the next thing we're going to do is move on over to the wintertop world. And I'm trying to set myself up so that I can do group games on mobile while I'm on vacation. So you're probably not going to see too much content and the likes of Winter Tot right now in this video. But I could assure you the next time we will have plenty of content to look over together and hopefully some pretty great drops that we can review. So look forward to it, guys. I'm going to get us situated here for our first game. All right, here we go. We're making our way in. Let's go ahead and unlock the tiles to get here. We're pretty much at the end of a game right now, but that's okay. Yep, I didn't think we'd get anything from that, but that's fine. So we're just going to hang out here for now. Let me put the tile counter somewhere and everybody can see it. Yeah, we're going to hang out, wait for the next game to start, and then we'll jump right in, get some progress. Yeah, 40 tiles for this area. I think that is totally doable. All right, there is a combat task completed. I actually think that is a yeah that's a medium one and medium combat tasks give us 10 tiles so we'll be adding those 10 tiles to our list puts us up to 553 uh we got 750 points on the first game which is honestly not terrible but uh could be a lot better we're gonna hold on to this crate just wait till we're done with our food see how many tiles we can get and uh go from there yeah not bad for the first game i am i'm getting pretty chunked as far as the uh health is concerned they're hitting me for eights so I'm really hoping that I get some early outfit pieces to sort of outfit us better so that we can survive. And obviously, the more experience we have in fire making, the better we'll be able to survive for longer. So let's get her done. There's actually another medium task, leaving no one behind, which is an additional 10 tiles. That'll put us at 563 for bonus tiles. Total tiles 75 right now. I am starting to run low on food. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do with the tiles that we've gained, let's go ahead and make our path out of here. I don't think we can really choose... Yeah, I figured it would put us just on a random tile. So, well, let's open these up. In the first one, we get a couple of herbs and some food and some U-logs. Great. Second one, some gold and some mahogany logs. I guess I can't complain. Let's go ahead, head to the bank, get some food, and deposit our materials. All right, we got seven crates to open, folks. And hopefully, hopefully we get something good, right? We need a unique um, dragon axe would be great. Then I can get the hell out of here. Uh, let's see. Open the first one. We've got some herbs. That's nice. Second one, saltpeter coins. Third one, diamond. Not bad. Next one, some limestone coins. Next one, Bruma torch. Nice. Uh, next one, some sharks, lobsters, and terramins. And the next one, no way. We got an acorn and maple seeds. Sick. All right. So this does give us uh, 20 tiles. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Now, one thing I didn't do, um, I just played a few mobile games and I got Winter Taunt Novice. And then I also got the uh, combat achievement for fixing the brazier. So both of those are easy. I believe both of those award 10. Let's just double check. No. Yeah. Easies are five. And then the collection log will be 20. So 30 total. So it'd bring us up to 593. Bonus tiles, available tiles at 199. There's the loot. Let's go ahead and put it in the tab. And there's 10 KC at Winter Tot. Just got the medium combat task, which is 10 tiles, right? I'm having to look at this damn thing every time. Yeah. 10 tiles for that. So we'll add that in. That puts us at 603 bonus and 214 total yeah we're looking for some pyromancer pieces we're looking for dragon axe we're looking for the pet we're looking for everything so let's send it first one money you logs second one is sharks and dynamite and then we got a willow seed some raw lobster some guan leaves and saltpeter and some cash some teaks mahogany logs you logs diamonds coins uh more logs more coins some fish and coins 
There we go. Warm gloves. Let's put those bad boys on. Next one was a willow seed and cash. Damn, that was almost 30k off of those. 30k cold hard cash. Yeah, cash is baller. All right, the last six crates that I'm opening for now decided I wanted to stop at 65 fire making. That's a good enough place. We're at over 400 tiles right now. That's more than enough for one I wanted to get done. So anyways, we'll send these. First one, some money, some oak logs. Second one, you logs, ear at leaves. Third one, some coal and some money. Fourth one, swordfish, marantels. Fifth one, more money. Good amount of money, actually. And some terramins. And the last one, more money and some sapphires. Can't ever complain about money. Yeah, we're sitting at, oh gosh, we're sitting at 60K, 61K for money. That's great. Feels good to have that amount of money on this account. So, okay, time to look in some other things. And ultimately, I think what I'll end up doing is I'll probably do a mix of mobile content where I'll be doing Winter Tot, Pest Control, and maybe Temperos, maybe some woodcutting. But with all of this unlocked right now, like that's probably what I'm going to do on vacation. So the boys in the Discord informed me that I screwed up yet again. Um, the issue is that when I got good old Rocky, I didn't count him being as a unique even though he is a unique pet uh, so that's an extra 20 tiles for him which seems kind of shitty because he was such a crazy rare drop rate but kind of like kind of just don't care yeah not only is it part of the balancing of the collection log but it's more so just part of the balancing of this mode like because really i could just farm pets if pets were made more like if they were weighted more in the collection log then who's to say i don't just farm everything for all the pets and then go do everything so, oh well, there it is. And we did just do a uh, Ali Morrison drop, and there's the runes as they are now. It was like 37k worth of runes, but no one wants to watch me struggle through a Sudoku puzzle, unless you're in the Discord. Join the Discord. And so, I set off to finally go on this vacation that I've been talking about for months. What kind of vacation was it? It was a hodgepodge of things. I went to two graduations and a wedding. Here's a picture of me at the wedding with my wife, my cousins, and the groom. There he is, what a handsome devil. We look pretty good too. There was a metric ton of driving for this vacation, like 2,000 miles collectively. I never want to hear it from anybody else on this channel or otherwise who says I am not dedicated to this series and to bringing you content at the expense of my own fun. Why do I say that? Well, I'll tell you why. Here's a picture, bright as day, of me sitting on the beach at sunset playing f***ing RuneScape. Don't ever tell me that I don't care about each and every one of y'all and how quickly I can get content out to you. This series means a lot to me, probably just as much as it means to you, maybe even more. I'm not here to bust anybody's balls. I just wanted to put that in for all the haters. So here's a couple of clips that I can throw together for you. One of the major grinds that we did while I was on the road was playing a just egregious amount of pest control. I want to say it was at least six or seven hours on the way down. It was like a 13 hour drive. So I did all of that and I grinded over 400 points so I can buy two void pieces. I got the void bottom and the void gloves and I'm still chasing the rest of the set. The next big thing that I did, and this was actually kind of fun. You can, you guys can see I'm going to do a side by side for you. I did my first teleport to Camelot. And I wanted to go specifically to Camelot because I had another big grind in mind. I didn't want to do anything that was going to be too altering to the account, but I also wanted to get some sort of linear progression that would be helpful and something that wasn't going to be too like crazy experience wise. And I decided I wanted to do fletching. So I got 61 fletching by chopping maple logs in Sears Village. And the reason why I got 61 is so I could make the adamant crossbow. I chopped and fletched 1,924 maple logs into maple long bows. If you remember, we can buy the ingredients for the adamant crossbow in the Keldegrim market. The other big thing I did was I went over to Ardun, past the market, and I unlocked the nature rune chest so that I can thieve nature runes. Again, just a super AFK thing I can do while I was in the car or if we were waiting for something to happen, I would just pull that out. And I ended up getting about 200 or so nature runes, which is great because they're completely free. They only take about six or seven seconds to 
refresh so I could hit that chest over and over. And I use those nature runes to superheat the remaining amount of copper and tin in my bank so I could finally push over that level 15 smithing so we can get some iron. Iron is super essential for a couple of quests that we have coming up, as well as just getting that extra magic XP is just super nice and the nature runes for free. So why not put them to good use? I got really lucky because I ended up getting two experience randoms while I was on mobile. I got the experience lamp while I was cutting maples, and then I got the tome of experience while I was looting the nature chest. Prior to leaving for vacation, I had 440 unspent tiles. You can see that I have 808 in this clip. 368 tiles were grinded using pest control, chopping and fletching maple logs, and stealing from the Ardune nature rune chest. From the Camelot teleport, to the maple logs, to the bank, from the spinning wheel, to the second floor stairs in Lumbridge, and from the Ardune stalls all the way to the nature rune chest was a total of 91 tiles spent. Now that I'm back from vacation, the grinds are only going to get bigger. They're only going to get better. So you're just going to have to commit to it just like I did, guys. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. So many of you guys are watching and have not subscribed. What are you doing? Join the family today. I will see you in the next episode, guys. Can't wait to share with you the growth that we've had so far. Have a great day.